it's Randy from Dreamy Bohemian, and I just want to thank you so much for stopping back by my channel again today and spending some time with me. It's always so very appreciated. I've been away for a bit. Uh, I traveled out of state to go to a wedding, and um, while all that was great, I'm really back to be really glad to be home. I'm sure you can relate to that. You just want to be back in your own bed and. Um, the wedding turned out beautifully. The day was was beautiful. Um, you know, it, it was it was a really nice beach wedding. So that was nice to get to go to the beach. But I'm coming on today to show you a flip through of little Callista here, who is the um, sherbet color sweet pea that I have been working on, and I think I showed you the colors of it in another video. But um, if you don't know what a sweet pea is, um, I, I brought the, the magazine and my original little sweet pea back on today because I just want to make sure, you know, one, that you give the original idea person credit uh, for things. And so I initially did this little sweet pea in a challenge in the group. Um, I add challenges to our group um, so that people can participate and it's just something fun to do. And this is my very first original little sweet pea. And she has morphed so much since then um, that, you know, you kind of get away from the original thing that you started out from the beginning which is not a bad thing. It's just, um, you know, the artistic process and it, it just kind of happens. But I did want to show you today, just in case this is your first time looking at a sweet pea or, you know, you're over there scratching your head, wondering what in the world a sweet pea is. So I like uh, Somerset Studio Magazine and I had a back issue that I really hadn't paid that much attention to. I mean, I flipped through it, but I guess I didn't have time to really look through it that much. And I had flipped and was looking and I saw this cool project in here. It was uh, Pretty in Petals by Christina Roth. And I had a lot of these vintage textiles, hankies and things that she was using in here. And I thought, oh my gosh, this, this might be something that I could run with. Um, so I wanted to make one that looked like hers and, you know, just see if I could do the project because I've never really done that before. Followed somebody else's instructions on something out of a magazine. And so um, here, there's hers and here's mine. And so I got pretty close. There were a few things that she had in hers. So like, for instance, this. I'm not sure where she lives. I'm sure she may have said in here somewhere, but um, she has razzleberry trees in her yard. And let's see, I always forget where she lives. Anyway, so you know how um, the cherry blossom leaf uh, tree petals, they fall off and they're just everywhere. Apparently that's what these razzleberry um, petals do too. They kind of look like long little feathers, but she wanted to do something with that. And so she uh, kind of, you know, swept them all together and made letters out of them. And then she used them. She took pictures of them and then used those as focal points in her journal, which I thought was so cute. And so um, she showed her process and I, I didn't have this, obviously, so what I did is I just substituted to get the floral aspect um, in the journal with with napkins. Um, you know, we all, all use napkins in our journal, so that's what I did to substitute. And then I used um, number stamps um, as a substitute. She used letters, but um, what I had was numbers. And I actually have some letter stamps too. I'm not sure, did I use? I may have just used numbers in here. It's been a while since I've, oh no, there's a letter. But I love the way this turned out and I kind of, I wanted to make some more. 
and um, it just has kind of snowballed since then. It's a little ring bound journal too, so you don't have to worry about binding and your signatures and things like that. It is such a fun, fun process. I think it's the most fun that I have had making journals since I've started making journals. There's a lot of um, processes in here and techniques and materials that you use in this. And so you learn a lot of different things just in creating this one little journal. And so that is the original origin of the Sweet Pea Journals that you now know today. And so um, I've got these two side by side. Uh, all my other ones I have uh, sold and they, you know, have gone on to their new homes. But I'll put the playlist for these little Sweet Peas so you can see what I'm talking about and how you can see the morphing of the process, but, um, you know, there, there's a difference now, as you can see. So I'm not using the vintage, um, handkerchiefs and the tatting and things like that. And I did get a little bit brighter with my colors. Um, like I said, this is a, sh the Sherbert color one. I've done purples that are, um, lighter and I did a peach, um, if you've been following along with my Bridgerton series, or the Bridgerton series in general, I know a lot of us love that. Um, I did a peach as a custom order and named her Penelope, and that's where kind of the Bridgerton series came about. So I did Penelope, and I did a light blue. Um, she's in the playlist as well. And um, that was in honor of Kate. Uh, the second series in Bridgerton, uh, or the second season in Bridgerton, um, I really, really liked her outfits in there so much, and um, I've actually got a Kate 2.0 here using using her darker colors that I'm going to get into. So, anywho, let's um, let's get into this sweet Callista. Like I said, she is Sherbert colors, and um, a little a little bit brighter colors so she has got a yellow bow a yellow sorry bow and she has got a pink and yellow dangle with some blue accents here and then on the side she has a yellow dangle with pink accents I just love that bead that is so pretty and then I have added a white, well, it's clear with white polka dots on here to keep that whimsical feel for Callista. Um, I named her Callista because she is sassy, and uh, I have a friend who has a daughter named Callista, and she's quite sassy. Uh, she's a dancer, and so I thought, what a perfect name for this little sweet pea. So, she is on one and a half inch um, gold rings. Like I said, a yellow sari ribbon as the bow on the front. And the um, bead is attached to that, and so it just flips over when you open her up. And so I've used Sheila's pastel um, trim bundle that she had out recently for the spring. It's very cute. It had this yellow in it and all these pastels in it. And it just went super with this little um, sherbet color. So, yellow is on the inside cover. And I've done peach accents on that. And of course, we have all the usual um, morphed things that are going on in this little sweet pea. It's just eye candy. Um, we use a lot of embossed paper some old book pages, some ledger, some music paper. Um, they're all different. It just, you know, depends on what it calls for at the moment. Some gold leaf and then some gold embossing and some white embossing. Um, sometimes I'll even do black, but um, it's just each little page is such a little piece of artwork on its own. This is some Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. 
I like the words and the letters on there, and that's some of it as well. Got some blue and some green in here. Um, this, the green and the pink and the peach and the yellow just reminded me of Sherbert so much. <laughs> Sherbert ice cream, which I love. And so I just, I don't know, just kind of went with it. I was just feeling the need for some color. This is some of Sheila's bling in here. That is some ledger paper that has been embossed with the embossing machine. And this is a little teeny tiny star stamp. And I'll link all the supplies that you need for this little journal. And um, I have tutorials. And uh, down in the description box, if you would like to see what you need to make these things, along with the links for you to be able to um, buy these products yourself. One of my favorite things about this little journal, and I should have showed you at the very beginning, is um, I found this vintage dangle trim, and it is long and so bougie it looks like it looks like it's liquid dripping down the the bottom of this little journal i absolutely love that i think this might be the favorite part my favorite part of this journal overall and i'm just loving it she is so judged and she's mo the most judged of any uh, sweet pea that I have done to date. <laughs> She's just bursting at the seams. Look at that trim. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so gorgeous. There's a little bow here, and here's where I attach that little white bead or the clear with the polka dots. Different color pink and some yellow. I love pink and yellow and peach and pink. Isn't that the prettiest color blue? So here is some of the white embossing powder. Um, this embossing powder here, I've been loving. It's the world's greatest embossing powder. It comes in a set, and it's all the colors you need. It, it's just gorgeous, and that'll be linked below as well. That little star stamp again, I just think it's so cute. So that's like two, two times stamping it there. There's one. Uh, it's a teeny tiny little stamp. I love that stamp. So also when you stamp um, on these, because you're using matte gel medium and gesso and paint and things of that nature, you have to make sure and use the archival ink. That way it doesn't smear if you go over it for any reason. Some more of that Tim Holtz paper up there. I love these little ruffles. They're so cute. I have to put some bling in there too. A little gold uh, bee stamp it, that I embossed. Some blue. And here's where the yellow bead is. And I've added some pink and some yellow here to kind of incorporate all of that, the pink and yellow all together. But, oh my gosh, I love this page. I love the peach and the pink together. I absolutely love it. I mean, who doesn't love it? Pink and peach and yellow. There's some more of the trim. Oh, there's a pale pink, I love that color too. These are just acrylic paints. Uh, the texture for the background paint is in the tutorial. It's not hard at all. In fact, it's really kind of fun to get really messy. I um, Let me go to the next one and see. Ooh, pink and green, always a favorite. So I started um, following the paper line with the gold, um, the gold leaf, and I love I just have loved that so much. It kind of gave it a marbling technique that I kept doing it. Um, and so you'll see that as a morphed, um, updated process in the, in the new video where 
as in the last tutorials, it wasn't, um, I wasn't doing it that way. Uh, and the reason that I say new video is because I'm going to do an updated tutorial um, on the updated version of these because the old one was this version, the, the original version. Nothing, not that there's anything wrong with that version. Um, it just, like I said, it just kind of morphed. So, um, like I said, I'll link all these things down into the description box. And, um, I, I just, I've be recently become an Amazon associate and I do earn from qualifying purchases if you click on my links, but it's just a very tiny, small referral fee. It's really not much at all. And it doesn't cost you anything extra to use the links. It just lets Amazon know that you saw um, that product in my video and it tells them um, that you were referred from this video. And I mean, it, it is so tiny. It's, it's really su such a tiny thing. So, um, anywho, so some upcoming things. One is the updated tutorial. Um, two is Daphne continuing on with the Bridgerton series. And here is Daphne um, with her really pretty pink. And I've already started on the papers for her. And I'm going to use this napkin. And we made these beads together um, in my bead dangle video. And I'll link that below too if you want to see that. I love making these bead dangles. Hers turned out so pretty. And then here's um, Kate 2.0 that's going to be coming up. I already started on her papers as well. And then uh, we made her beads in the same video as Daphne's. Hopefully you can see those. Okay, I love these beads. I think those are my favorite beads. I don't know. I keep saying they're all my favorites. So I've also been working on a, a cus another custom order for... Um, a co-worker who wanted a journal for his daughter, but he wanted um, l larger, a, a little bit larger, because he thought that she might want to write in it. Now, these little sweet peas are not necessarily for writing. They're just kind of little pieces of art, which you can tuck a photo in, put a little note on, um, you know, write your favorite quote, your favorite Bible verse, or... Um, or whatever. It's it's just um, a little collection of art pieces in there is kind of how I, I think about it. But he wanted um, something larger for her just in case she thought she might actually want to write in it. So I've used the full index card here and I didn't cut it in half. And so she's turning out really pretty. I just wanted to show you what she's going to look like. I um, I started judging her up just a little bit, and he doesn't want it too overly done. And so hopefully, I mean, you know, teenagers, they don't understand all the froofy stuff. So I've been really happy with her, though. I think she's really pretty. Her favorite colors were blues and greens. And so I've kind of been joking calling her Bertha because she's so big. And, um, I can't name her Bertha because that just doesn't feel right. <laughs> like the name doesn't match the, um, the piece, but it was just Bertha because she was a larger version of the small one. And, um, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. So she may end up being Bertha. Who knows? But anyway, just so much fun with this. I love this back page. Uh, I wish I'd have thought and put the holes on this side so that it would have been the front. But this this one is pretty for the front, and so I decided, well, I'll put that one on the back. So I'm going to be working on this to get that done up. And um, I think that's all for today. Oh, I didn't show you. Um, I didn't show you. Look at... Kate's textiles that I'm going to be using in there. Love these colors. 
Love these colors. Yep. Uh, I just, I love Kate's outfits. They're so pretty. So, um, I found a Bridgerton magazine at the grocery store, and it looks like, according to the book series, that there's going to be um, four seasons of that, and so I'm really, really excited to watch that. But, I digress, and I get sidetracked, and yada, 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 and I just want to thank you guys <laughs> for stopping by again, and uh, really, really, really appreciate everyone who's um, use the links and, and let Amazon know that you're seeing my videos and looking at, at the um, supplies that I've linked. Just really appreciate it so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Stay dry, be safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!